Holy Ghost Masters and most welcome guests. I know that there are two ways to earn the best evaluator. One is to do well, and the other one is to be the only evaluator. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's speech was the commu competent communicator speech number one, the icebreaker. This is far from the first time that he has done this. Mark is an accomplished speaker. I will turn up the dial on purpose of the speech, as it is uh, written in general, is stand up here and deliver a speech, don't collapse, and, uh, and bring what skills you have to the party. Of course, Mark comes with considerable skills here. He had an excellent, clever introduction, I golf, therefore I am. Ha ha, we're all in. That's great. He moved on into that and gave us a structured preview of his speech said that he would share his story, and then why he's enthusiastic about golf. Delivered. He had some really great lines in his speech, such as, uh, this one that, that really struck me. In high school, he started, and right away I was horrible. To me, it got me. It was great. Uh, he also said that the golf swing is living sculpture. That's one to sit on. I really like that one. Another one is that uh, if the fate of the world depended on it, none, none of us would be here. Fantastic uh, lines, well thought out, well written throughout. Then he delved more deeply into the observations from an experienced uh, perspective. It's control and letting go. From my somewhat deep experience in karate, I relate to this, and it's uh, very succinctly stated, and that is very meaningful. Also, I like it from the physics standpoint, because in that split second, that is the swing. You have to have it all dialed in, and with the same inputs, are you going to get the same output? Well, you should, but getting those same inputs dialed in, that's, that's kind of the trick in that split second. Uh, he had a wonderful closing, I'm a golfaholic. I thought that was uh, well placed and clean. And I have a couple ideas uh, for you, Mark. Um, you, of course, surveyed the audience and, uh, and you had group eye contact, but not as much individual eye contact as I might suggest. You could dial that up a little bit and get more connection with your audience that way. One more thing, you have great one and two hand uh, gestures. A little, your rest position in between is clasping. It's not necessary and it's the slightest bit distracting. All in all, Mark, as always, your speech craft is excellent with a, a couple little tweaks. I look forward to the rest of your speeches through the CC manual on time. And oh, by the way, I'm going to make all of my reviews, my evaluations within competition time, which is three minutes, 30 seconds, bam. <laughs> <laughs> Thank 
speakers and most welcome guests. Christine's speech tonight was from the interpretive reading manual. The, the story was the project. She read Hearts and Hands by O. Henry. And the purpose of the project is to convey meaning and emotion of the original work. However, every single one of us hears it in, the own, in our own way as we read it, right? We hear the voice, we hear the tone, we hear the pace, the rhythm, the tempo, the inflection. So it's a bit of a challenge for the reader or for the speaker to convey their own angle on things. And in this reading, it's also a bit of a challenge for the evaluator to to weigh it. Is, is my evaluation going to be absolute or is it going to be situational? Of course it's going to be situational. How did Christine do? Well, you were here, you know, she did most excellent. Like some of the great things that she did was were to really execute vocal variety well. She changed voices. She, an example, the uh, gesture, she said, she held out a little gray gloved hand, and she let it stay there because it lingered, because there was confusion of, for a moment in the car of the train. She said, money has a way of taking me. All right. This was all seamless, so very well done. She, uh, referring back, she changed her voice. You'll pardon the interruption, miss. Seductive. They make us think that we don't need to practice as much as a speech that we are preparing and writing all of our own. So we hear the voice, the tone, the rhythm, the vocal variety, the inflection, and so forth. But if we practice, then we can really be there with the audience and compel the, no, sorry, convey the meaning. speeches in the Stoastmasters group. I've recently reviewed the minutes for the past 
two and a half years or so as I'm building kind of the history of things. And I got to see when, uh, when Grant joined, and then uh, each speech he has, he has delivered them. And it was a great trip down memory lane. One of the key points along the way is that his style is very unassuming and very seductive, very one which draws people in. I love his style, and I'm going to attack that style tonight. <laughs> so, hopefully to some benefit. Tonight's speech is to persuade with power. The ideas, the objectives are to convey sincerity and conviction to, well, be a credible source. Okay, in this case, I can uh, think of a single more credible source for the topic at hand. Also, to appeal to the audience's self-interest, well, in this case, we're all on board. And to do so with our thoughts. Yeah. So, the basic objectives are met. Let's get down into detail. I thought that the criteria that Grant suggested for the perfect gift were very thoughtful. Relevance, quality, appropriate quality, uniqueness, and consumability. But you justified that. This wasn't just being a marketeer for his product, but really, we got too much stuff. Honestly. I mean, we're lucky, and we got too much stuff. It's valid. I think that uh, this was a beautiful moment in the presentation because it took me by surprise and maybe I'm slow. Some of you know where I'm going with this. It took me to just him saying that to say, oh, I do know. Ha, ha, ha. It was, it was beautifully timed, I thought. You followed Grant by qualifying each of those points and justifying Kukuruza popcorn for the masses. And I think he did that effectively. Uh, one quote that you said, it's a non-stressed way to give. That rang with me. Because of those four points that were so well thought out and articulated, it's good. It fits. One thing that I want to say, and this is the attack part, the sincerity and conviction part of this project battles a little bit with your casual and unassuming style. Further, with, there was a little bit, I mean, you did both body motion, a little bit over to here, then over to here. This is good, but I didn't see it used with a purpose. So, I'd like to see, and this is one person's opinion, when you do your body movements, do them for a reason. I do not have suggestions you as far as sincerity and conviction, I know you will find those. I know I don't need to worry about that. And with that, any other notes that I have, I will give you offline. This is your general note. All right. Now we have... I'm curious. Though.